What's up guys? Oddman105 here. And welcome to this week's Podium Car customization and review video. And check it out. Here's this week's Podium Car, the BF Club. If you guys want to know how I win Podium Cars every week, there will be a link in the description down below for my video. And I'll post a link for my video right about here. Now before we begin, I have a few massive shout outs to give. First and foremost, to Gladders. Second, to Chin, and last but not least, to Uclanamont, YT, for their support of my channel. Thank all of you very much. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's get started. All right, so the BF Club here takes design cues from quite a few vehicles, but mostly is designed after the Mark I uh, Volkswagen Golf, an absolute beautiful car, nostalgic car in my opinion. Now, as far as this game is concerned and as far as performance is concerned, the BF Club is the fastest compact car in its class. That, that's right, the fastest car in its class. And uh, we're going to find that out when we test drive it. But for this build, I want to try to be clean with this one and not go over the top with uh, ridiculous customizations because surprisingly, this car has quite a few customizations on it. So with that being said, let's hop in, go to the customization stall, and get started. All right, here we go. Okay, armor, 100%. Body work. Now, you take a look at the body work uh, customizations. These are all over the top. We're not going to do sticker bomb or carbon parts or any of that nonsense, so we're just going to skip, uh, skip over that. Let's go straight to brakes. Again, I want to try to do a clean build if at all possible. Front bumper. Now there was a bumper option that I liked. We're not going to do a rally build, so we're going to skip a lot of this. As you can see, it's got quite a few options here. But I want the full bumper on the front, mainly because it's got the license plate. And we'll also go full bumper on the back. And it looks pretty nice. That's what the original Mark I pretty much looked like, so that's beautiful. Engine, full upgrade. Exhaust system. And like I said, this car has a butt ton of options for it. So, so what I think I'm going to do, we don't need to go over top, over the top on this. Yeah, blast pipes, that's just ridiculous. So let's go. Uh, yeah, you know what? Chrome tuner exhaust. Let's get that one. It's better than the original. Like I said, nothing over the top here. Fenders. Let's go full fender covers because I like the black, and you guys will see why. Uh, no, we're not doing headlight covers. The hood. Now, there is a hood option that I like. The clean hood is fine, but I think I'm going to go for this one right here. Low level vented. Oops. The horn will leave standard. Lights. Headlights. Let's go Xenon. Skip the neon kit, liveries. Now, we're going to get rid of the original livery that's on here, and let's go with Jackal Racing. Let's go ahead and put that one on. The plates, and you guys already know what it is. Black and yellow, baby. Respray, primary. Okay, let's go metallic. Now, I kind of wish that I could throw a red racing stripe on this car because that would be perfect uh, with a gray build but unfortunately there's no option for that so let's get rid of the pink and let's go let's go standard red on this and now that looks nice but let's take a look at the pearlescent sunrise orange no uh, you know the sunrise orange is not bad we'll leave it we'll leave it alone that's fine it's fine. Secondary will match it, even though we can't see it because of the, uh, the fenders. The secondary color are the fender flares, so let's just go metallic and we'll match that with the standard red. The roof. Yeah, now there are some ridiculous options for the roof. But again, I don't want any of this on my car, so that's just stupid. So let's go with the uh, louvers in the back because that's kind of what you would see on a Mark I of the era. Let's go with the 
primary roof ring. That looks pretty cool. Now see, there are some other options for spoilers, but these are all over the top, and we're not doing a race build here, or rally build, so we'll skip those. And you also get the traction bonus with that as well. Sunstrip. Yep. Let's put a sunstrip on it. Suspension. Now check this out. We can slam this thing if we want. And I think, you know what? Let's slam it. That looks cool. Let's go with it. Transmission. Full upgrade. Turbo. Full upgrade. Wheels. Wheel type. Let's go straight to street on this one. And because this car is so small and it's got that small wheel, almost any wheel type would look good on this thing, but there's a cheaper alternative that looks just as good. Let's go to Sport, Stock. So you hear the original Cosmos. And we can go up one on that with Dash VIP. Let's get these. And that looks nice. All we got to do is paint them. Wheel color, and you better believe we're going black on that. And look at that. Look at that. That is awesome. I love it. Tires. Tire design. Yes, please. Even though you can't really see it. Enhancements bulletproof. Smoke. Uh, let's go black tire smoke. the windows and you know we got to blacken this thing out and look at it it's a whole new vehicle beautiful I love it all right and I think that's it yep that's all of it so when the Sun comes up we'll test drive it but for now let's park it beautiful car look at that all right guys and we're back and check it out this thing pops in the sunlight that was an awesome choice I'm glad we went with that livery Oh, cash creation is maxed out. I'll have to move some of that uh, money around. All right. Let's send it. Oh, my God. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> this thing pulls. Oh, my goodness. This little car is insane. Wow. This thing is fast. Handles well, too. Like I said, the fastest compact car in its class. This car is fun. Oh, my goodness. And it handles well. <laughs> I love it. This thing is fun. This is thing. This is a fast car. First person. Wow, this is nice. Okay, a really quick interior check. Nice. Now, this is supposed to be a laterally opposed engine uh, placement because this is a front wheel drive car, but whatever. The engine model still looks nice. The interior looks okay. This is the interior uh, from the Futo, I believe, but it looks nice. It's not bad. I just wish we could have customized it. We've got the rear. Uh, rendering could have been a little better on that, but otherwise not bad. Overall, this is a beautiful looking car. I love it. Alright guys, and we're back. And this little car is insane. Unbelievable performance in this thing. Now, let's talk about the appearance. The red was a good choice. I love it. The red with that black livery, the black rims, and all the little black bits. Excellent. This thing pops in the sunlight. Performance. I am knocked the freak out. This thing is fast. 
It handles well. It brakes really well, too. And uh, again, this is the fastest compact car in the game, hands down. Now, let's talk about price. This car retails for just under $1.3 million. I don't believe that it's worth it simply for what it is. It's a compact a car. It's not a supercar. So I do recommend that if you guys want this thing, you try to win it this week, and you, that you use my technique to get your hands on this vehicle. If you can win it, it's absolutely worth it. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, a.k.a. The Odd One, coming to you live once again from the LS Car Meet with this week's podium car, the BF Club. If you guys found this video entertaining, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and definitely check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.